Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at dynamic lights for Minecraft Java edition version 1.17.1 and I'm going to show you guys how to download and install this cool dynamic lights mod for Minecraft Java edition on version 1.17.1. This is a fabric based mod for Minecraft Java so you are going to need fabric to get this mod working and it works really well with iris shaders and sodium and it's a good alternative to optifine so for those of you who have ever used optifine you will know that it does come with dynamic lights as an option in the menu system and iris shaders unfortunately does not come with dynamic lights so by using this mod we are going to enable that function and it's really cool because it does help seeing stuff in a low light situation this mod is called lamb dynamic lights so if you guys are interested i'll show you guys how to download and install this mod for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 i'm also going to show you guys how to download and install iris shaders and i'm also going to show you guys how to download and install fabric and sodium for minecraft java edition 1.17.1 i'm also going to show you guys how to download and install some shaders and a few different other mods as well to get everything set up for those of you who are wondering what is dynamic lights Okay, so as you guys can see on my screen right now, our character is actually glowing and this is thanks to the dynamic lights mod that I have got installed. Let me quickly just switch over to first person mode there and as you guys can see, I do have a torch in my hand. If I was to get rid of this torch, you can see that everything around me is now completely dark. As you guys can see, there is no glows or anything around me. Nothing is illuminating, but if I was to put a torch in my hand, then everything is glowing around me. So let's quickly go over to another dark area in the game let's go over by that tower of sea lanterns and there is a cave nearby so we're going to go inside that cave and we're going to see how the dynamic light is actually going to help me out so let's get rid of the torch first of all so as you guys can see it's completely pitch black here and if i was playing in survival mode i would not be able to see where i was going and even if i did have a torch on me i would have to use that torch up but if i did have a torch in my hand and if i did have the dynamic lights mod enabled and everything set up on fabric for minecraft 1.17.1 then i am able to actually see where I'm going now so as you guys can see I am actually able to see at the bottom here where this leads to and it's really good because this is going to help us in a survival based environment we want to go deeper into a dark looking cave area and we now can see where we're going and all we have to do is just hold a torch or any kind of light emitting entity as you guys can see I've got a sea lantern here and even if I was to hold a normal lantern then it would do the same thing so anything that emits a light I can actually hold it in my hand and it will actually make everything lighten up I can even go ahead and put my torch in the other slot so then I can have a weapon in my hand and the torch in my other hand and as you guys can see I can now swing my weapon and I can see where I'm going so it's a really cool mod so if you guys are looking to download and install dynamic lights for Minecraft Java Edition on Fabric and this is especially really good if you guys are using iris shaders with sodium and you want to get that feeling that you do get with Optifine and you want to replicate that scenario that you do get with Optifine where you are able to use dynamic lights but as I said earlier you can't do that with iris shaders so this dynamic light spot is definitely going to help us out I do actually use this mod with all of my mod packs and I would highly recommend that you guys check this out you can also use these with shaders so as you guys can see I am actually using BSL shaders shaders at the moment so if I go to shader packs you can see that I have got BSL version 8.1.01 enabled there and the mod works completely fine I've also got a zoom mod as well installed on here so if I go into first person mode I can actually zoom in to see so it's really cool I'm also going to show you guys how to download and install this cool zoom mod as well so I'm now going to show you guys how to download and install the lamp dynamic lights mod for Minecraft Java edition version 1.17.1 on fabric and also how to download the other mods which I mentioned which are sodium iris shaders and the zoom mod as well all right, so to begin with, we are going to download Java because we do need Java to actually use the Fabric installer. Once we have installed Java, we are able to open up the Fabric jar installer. Alternatively, you guys can also get the Fabric Windows installer. But for today's video and demo purposes, I'm actually going to go ahead and use the jar installer. So open up your internet browser 
and start typing in Java JDK 17 and the link we need to go to is this one over here which is the oracle.com website and it's the download section so let's click on that and just scroll down and click on Windows. I am on a Windows based machine so I'm going to go ahead and download the x64 installer. I'm going to click on this link and wait for the download to start. So I'm going to be right back once this download is finished. Alright so as you guys can see the Java JDK 17 file is now finished downloading so we can actually close down this tab. Let's go to the main Fabric website which is FabricMC net so I've already got that saved there and I will leave links in the description so you guys don't have to go around looking for these you can just click on the links and go straight to these websites okay so once you are on the main fabric website click on use on the top menu here and as I said earlier you do have two options you can either download the universal jar file or you can download the Windows installer so if you guys are having problems with using the jar file then you can actually go ahead and use the Windows exe installer if you guys do have any issues in using the fabric installer and the jar file do leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you guys out so let's click on this file and let's start the download for the fabric jar installer let's also download the fabric API because we do need Fabric API to be able to use other mods as well. So you will see it says here most mods will also require you to install Fabric API into the mods folder. So let's click on this link here which says Fabric API. It will actually take you to the curseforge.com website. Click on files and then now make sure that you do actually download the correct version of Fabric API because we do have several different versions here. We do also have the version for the snapshots as well. So do make sure that you are downloading it for the correct version. So at the moment we are on version 1.17.1 so I'm going to click on download in this section here because we can see game version 1.17.1 so let's click on download and let's wait for the download to now start and finish all right so as you guys can see the download for fabric API for version 1.17.1 has finished we can now actually go back into the curse forge website and just go to Minecraft section and click on mods. We can now start actually downloading other mods as well so in your search bar just type in dynamic lights so this is the dynamic lights mod that i mentioned earlier and it's actually called lamb dynamic lights as you guys can see over here don't get this one because that is the forge based mod so download this mod over here which says lamb dynamic lights because that is the fabric based mod so i'm going to click on this file all right so i'm going to click on files and then i'm going to click on the download link for the correct version so as you guys can see the latest version is for 1.17.1 so that's fine we can go ahead and click on the download link over here so let's wait for that file to finish downloading all right so as you guys can see the lamb dynamic lights mod has finished downloading as well so let's go back into the main section let's click on minecraft click on mods again and now we can actually search for mod menu because we do need mod menu to be able to enable or disable the dynamic lights mod if you guys want to do that so let's type in mod menu and search for that and it should come up with the result over here that says a mod menu by prospector dev and click on this link over here click on files again look for the version that says 1.17.1 so we can see that the latest version of mod menu for version 1.17.1 is this one over here which is version 2.0.14 so i'm going to click into that file and i'm going to click on the download link over here so let's wait for that download to now start and then finish all right so as you guys can see the mod menu file has now finished downloading so let's go back into the main site again click on minecraft click on mods over here and now we can actually download the zoom mod which i showed you earlier so just start searching for zoom it will come up with several different versions of the zoom mods the two mods which i like to use are either ok zoomer or logical zoom so let's go ahead and click on logical zoom because that is the one i showed you guys earlier click on files make sure that it is for version 1.17.1 and then click on download and then let's wait for that download to now finish all right and the final file that we are going to download the final mod is going to be iris shaders so again go back to the main curse forge site click on minecraft and then click on mod and the good news is that we can actually download iris shaders straight from here so just type in iris shaders and the link we need to click on is this one so as you guys can see it says iris shaders by codabot so click on that and click on files making sure that it is for version 1.17.1 click on the download link and you will also see it does say here it's iris version 1.1.2 
plus sodium. So this actually comes with the latest version of sodium as well, which is 0.3.2. So I click on download and let's wait for that to finish as well. All right, so as you guys can see, it now has finished downloading Iris and sodium for Minecraft Java 1.17.1. Again, let's go back and this time let's download some shaders. Let's go ahead and download BSL shaders because that is a nice safe shader to use with Iris shaders. So this time we're going to click on the customization link over here and then you guys will notice that BSL is actually right at the top over here because it's really popular it's got 13.4 million downloads so click on BSL shaders we can also see that it was last updated quite recently in September 22nd and it is for game version 1.17.1 so I'm going to click on the download link here so let's actually wait for that file to now finish downloading all right so as you guys can see it has finished downloading the BSL shaders file as well so I'm going to put all of these files on my desktop and I'm going to show you guys how to start the installation process for each of them step by step all right, so as you guys can see, I have put all of the files on my desktop. And the first file I'm actually going to start the installation process for is the Java file because we do actually need Java to open up the Fabric Installer jar file, like I mentioned earlier. So just double click on the Java file to start the installer. As you guys can see, it does say this software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to select yes. I'm going to go through the same default options that I selected earlier. I'm going to click on next and just go through all of those options and wait for the installation to finish. All right, so as you guys can see, it does say Java has been successfully installed. I'm going to click on close and then I'm going to actually highlight this file and then delete it. All right, so now I can actually go ahead and start the installation for Fabric. So all I need to do now, thanks to Java, is right click on the Fabric installer, hover over where it says open with and then select Java platform SE binary and it should come up with the Fabric installer. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you guys do run into problems, do leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to try and help you guys out to actually be able to open up the fabric installer and you guys do have the option of using the fabric windows installer as well all right now making sure that it does say here minecraft version 1.17.1 and you don't have to worry about the loader version it should automatically select the latest version there and just leave everything as it is and click on install and that should basically install the fabric loader into your minecraft game okay so click on ok and then let's close this down we can now delete this fabric installer jar file we don't need that we can now actually go ahead and start installing the mods and the shaders so now we can actually go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher once the launcher does load up you will notice at the bottom left here it does say fabric loader version 1.17.1 so we do know that fabric has been successfully installed if we go to installations over here on the top we can see that it does show fabric loader 1.17.1 in this list as well so just hover over this bit here, or you can hover over any of the installations that you already have in this section. Hover over the folder icon and then click on the folder icon. That should open up your Minecraft main directory. And then now if we go into the mod section over here, you should have a folder that says mods. For any reason, if you don't have a mods folder, and if you are downloading and installing Fabric for the first time, you might not even have a mods folder. Just right click on an empty space, click on new, and then click on folder and then rename it to mods. Now go inside the mods folder and now we can actually drag and drop those mods inside this folder. So all of the mods should be in jar format. So just highlight all of these files and then drag them into the mods folder. So in your Minecraft's main directory, you should have a mods folder and your files inside that mods folder should look something like this. Now, if we just go one level up back into the main Minecraft directory, you should also have a shader packs folder. Again, if you don't have a shader packs folder, just right click on an empty space, click on new, click on folder, and then rename it to a shader packs. Once you've done that, go inside the shader packs folder, and then now we can just move the BSL shaders inside the shader packs folder. You will notice that all of your shaders are going to be in zip format. So just drag the BSL shaders into the shader packs folder, and we should be good to go. Okay, so we can now close down this window over here. Let's go back into the Minecraft launcher. And now we can actually go ahead and click on play against the launcher. You can also go back to the play section and making sure that fabric loader is selected in the drop down. You can also launch the fabric loader game that way as well. So let's go back into the installation section and hover over fabric loader 1.70.1 and then click on play. 
All right, so as you guys can see, the game is now loaded up and we can now maximize this window. And at the bottom here, it should say Minecraft 1.17.1 slash fabric. So we do know that fabric has been installed. You should also see a mods button here on the main menu because we have installed mod menu mod as well. If you click into that mod section, we will see that it has got all of the mods that we have installed. So we've got Iris version 1.1.2, build 9 by Codabot. We've also got the lamp dynamic lights and this is version 2.0.2 for version 1.17.1 and we've also got the logical zoom mod that we downloaded earlier and obviously we do have the mod menu mod there as well and lastly we do have the sodium mod so this is a version 0.3.2 and it's build 9 by jelly squid so click on done and if we go into options click on video settings click on shader packs you can see that i have got bsl shaders here as well now because i did actually enable this and i installed bsl shaders previously and i did enable this it's automatically enabled it for me but for you guys if you are doing this for the first time just click into that file and then click on apply and click on done so it should highlight it and make it yellow to show you that it is enabled basically so click on done now we can actually go back inside our game and the dynamic lights mod should be enabled and we should also have the cool zoom mod as well all right so as you guys can see us now loaded us back into the game and you guys can see that the dynamic lights are working let me just quickly go ahead and put this back into my other slots and as you guys can see now if i deselect the torch everything goes dark and it's much harder to see stuff in the dark but if i was to select the torch again i am able to see everything around me and that is thanks to the dynamic lights mod as well we can actually go into the main menu click on mods and then click on lamb dynamic lights over here and as you guys can see there is a configure button here so click into that and you can actually go ahead and change stuff so similar to optifine where we were able to select the fancy or fast option for dynamic lights so if any of you who have ever used optifine you will know what i'm talking about here so you can actually go ahead and select different profiles you can go ahead and select different profiles for dynamic lights so if you just hover over this button you can see it says enables dynamic lights if enabled a player holding a torch will light up the area for example fastest and fast will lag a bit behind but minimize light updates fancy is smooth dynamic lighting so let's go ahead and choose fancy and i've gone ahead and selected fancy for all of these other options as well and I turned them on so you guys actually can go ahead and play around with these settings here and choose whatever you want to for these settings by default the creeper and tnt will be different so i have actually gone ahead and selected fancy for both of these as well so click on done all right let's go back into the game and if we go and look at that pillow over there which is made of the c lanterns and if i press the c on my keyboard the c key on my keyboard i can actually zoom in like this and it has a nice cinematic type camera as well so i really do like this zoom mod as well again i do use the zoom mods in my mod packs as well so i would recommend that alongside the dynamic lights mod you guys do get the zoom mod as well that is another cool addition that we do get with optifine so now with iris shaders thanks to the dynamic lights mod and the logical zoom mod we are able to replicate the cool functions of optifine and play them with the iris shaders and we also do have bsl shaders enabled as i showed you guys earlier so we are able to play with dynamic lights on shaders using fabric based mods like sodium and iris shaders hopefully you guys have found this video useful if you have please do give us a like if you have any comments or queries about using the dynamic lights mod or any of the mods that i have shown you guys today then do leave them in the comment section below and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching